Hi, hi, John. Well, um, then... Over the last few weeks, you've really seemed to be establishing yourself in the Rangers starting eleven. Is that something you feel yourself like you're really, you know, coming to grips and, and getting used to, to life at Rangers? Really. I think I think so. Yeah, but at the same time, we've we've got a lot of games. Um, Europe Cup games and league games, so I'm sure there'll be a lot of rotation as well. I think everyone in, in the middle of the park is capable of playing in the, in the starting 11 in any game. So, of course, nailing down a place is, is all well and good, but I'm sure there'll be rotation at the same time. You've seen yourself move into that sort of um, role, the deeper line role in the middle of the park. Is that the position you're, you're most comfortable with, or do you feel just as, just as easy playing in the, in the wider position as well? What suits you best? Um, I've played to be honest. I played number six, the deep one, most of my career. Um, it's only the the last couple of seasons in, in the Premier League that I played the more attacking, really, just just with my energy and, and things like that. Suited suited me gaming in the Prem with how fast the pace is and, and things like that. But um, before then, I had always seen myself as a as a deep line midfielder, yeah. Um, but obviously, just tried to adapt my game a little bit when I was at Sheffield United, but. Um, I can comfortably play play the position. I, th- I think Steven Gerrard's shown a, a great belief in you and the, the way that he's used you. And when we've talked to him, um, you've come with a reputation as you know being a defender, blah, blah, blah. But he seems to be really keen to, to develop you and use you in a more attacking role. How, how's that been, been working out on the training ground? Or are we reading too much into things? Um, as I said, I think all of us are comfortable playing either either slots. Really, there's a lot of talent in the group, and there's a lot of interchanging as well. It's not set in stone. I think we've got a bit of freedom to to rotate. So yeah, either, either one's fine. Morning, John. Morning. Uh, in terms of the, the match tomorrow, um, your performance against Hibs, I thought was a standout in terms of just being able to drive the team on, especially in that second half. You spoke earlier in the season about adapt. To, to having a lot more touches of the ball, do you feel now that you're getting more used to the rhythms of the Rangers midfield? Yeah, definitely. I think I think it was going to take time just to just to get used to the style of play and, and things like that. But um, but now enjoying having more of the ball definitely. That's sort of feel my strong point is being in possession. So um, yeah, definitely enjoying that. How big a challenge is it when you, you come from a side like Sheffield United who with all due respect aren't maybe expected to win absolutely every single game and you come to Rangers and there's 50,000 people there demanding, you know, we want to be up to up in 20 minutes. How how, <laughs> how difficult is that to, to just get the mindset totally altered towards that? Yeah, it's, it's a different type of pressure than what, what I've been used to, definitely. Um, it's just about adapting, of course. It's... As you know, the, the fans are demanding, and rightly so, at the top top club, and, and uh, they, they know where they want us to be. So um, it's about dealing with that pressure and trying to trying to perform and and giving giving them what they want, and obviously what we want also. Um, but no, it's a different type of pressure. It's one it's one it's one I'm enjoying. Uh, John, when you were at uh, Sheffield, you crossed paths with Ben Woodburn, who's in the Hearts squad now. I just wonder what your impressions were of him when he came in as this huge talent where everyone was raving about him and how he fitted in there and, and why maybe he didn't quite kick on at that point? As I, as I said there before, it's hard to come into a new team. We were doing well at the time. Um, a lot of things are expected of Ben and, and to come in and just set the world alight. It's not always the case. Um, we, had a, we had a midfield there that was was playing every week and um, it was tough for Ben, but he's a great lad and he's, he's a top player. Um, hopefully, I hope, I hope he does kick on his career now, yeah. Do you get a sense he's still got that potential? Because he came in so young, because he's had this dip, I think people forget that he's still a very, very young man and there's still probably a lot of time for him to kind of rediscover all the form that everyone kind of believed was there. I think so, yeah. I think so, definitely. Um, I, I sort of happened to myself and I have went I went down the leagues a few years back when I was younger and, and built my way back up. It's just some career paths are different. Some people stay at the top from a young age. Some people come from non-league and build themselves up. It's just, it's just different career paths, but... Um, no, I think he's definitely got it in him. I see, I seen a few pre-season games for Liverpool in the in the summer. And I thought he was thought he was one of the best players on the pitch. Um, it was against someone at Anfield, so he's definitely still got it in him, and he's a top player.